Almost a year and a half ago, a South Placer Fire District mechanic died by suicide in the Station 17 parking lot in Granite Bay. And now, Trenton Jennings' family is suing the department for wrongful death, citing workplace harassment. Our Devin Truby spoke to the family tonight, and Devin, it's been 17 months to the day, still not a lot of answers. That's right, Luke, and it's why the family is filing the lawsuit, still in shock over how a department tasked with saving lives could allegedly be a part of the end of their sons, according to the evidence they say they found. Trenton Jennings lived a life of service, persevering and overcoming obstacles every step of the way. In kindergarten, there was a project called the All About Me poster, and um, on it, it, he wanted to be a Marine. But an enlarged spleen would sideline him from competitive contact sports, and when it came time to enlist, they denied him right off the bat. Trent provided his entire medical history and went through a grueling seven-month screening process, and then, like most important moments in his life, a phone call to his mom. They approved me. They said I can join. Later, a call from Camp Pendleton to his mom. They just let you know they arrived. But when it came time for the most important phone call. I received a text message from somebody that I don't even have their phone number and they were offering their condolences for the loss of my son. And I was driving and my Bluetooth read it in my ear. At the same time, Trent's father Raymond was being notified that at the exact same place he'd gone to work for 27 years, Station 17 South Placer Fire District as a mechanic, where his son returned from the Marines to follow in his footsteps. I wish I would have never worked there because my son wouldn't have followed in those footsteps. And, you know, I, I feel, I can't help but feel guilty. Your son has persevered and overcome many situations. What is it about the situation now? South Placer Fire. I wish I knew that. There are so many questions. Which is why the Jennings family is filing a wrongful death lawsuit and claiming work environment harassment and failure to prevent harassment. The family uncovered text messages of Trent discussing harassment. The lawsuit claims he was mocked for his military service, that he was initially denied off on Veterans Day. They were also told by the department the video of Trent's last moments in the parking lot was deleted so it couldn't be accessed by the wrong people. The family says they met with the department and got nowhere. The deputy chief walked us out to our vehicle. And as I stood out there, I told him, I said, you know, I hate to say it, but your department is partially responsible for my son's death. And he said, you're absolutely correct and shook his head. According to the lawsuit, an unidentified district official also made a statement to the coroner that Trent had demons. The family says his discharge and clean bill of mental health from the Marine Corps show these issues are because of South Placer fire. The suit also says a private investigator uncovered the employee Trent was allegedly harassed by was, quote, a known problem employee the district failed to control or discipline. The family reported all of this to the Department of Fair Employment and Housing, where they were given the right to sue. Great reporting, Devin. And so what happens next? It's a good question, Luke. It's a long process, and the lawsuit was presented to the South Placer Fire District. The seven-member board voted unanimously to deny that claim. And that was back in October of 2022. So the lawsuit was filed in Placer County Superior Court in April. And now the family waits. We contacted the mm -hmm. fire district. We were told we could only get to the board through the fire chief, and we were only able to leave a voicemail today, Luke. A devastating loss for that family. And, Devin, we know that you'll continue to push for answers. Thank you.